Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how to create origami paper plane using Houdini's procedural modeling. So before we move into Houdini, I would like to show you the basic step to create this paper plane using origami technique. So here I have one rectangle paper. Now you need to fold this line to meet the center line in both direction. Now you need to fold the paper again over this line and same way in 45 degree you need to fold over here and here and now this small area you need to fold in this manner. Now you need to fold by flipping this paper like this and just you need to fold it again over here and you get your paper plane okay so we need to apply the same method in Houdini but with procedural technique so here my main tool is band tool so let's move into Houdini. So first of all, I need to create one geometry. So for that, I just click tab over here and write geometry. Okay, I just double click in it. So this is my geometry view. So as you see in the presentation, I need one paper. So to create one plane or paper, I need to create one grid node. So this is my grid which represent my paper. So first of all, I set the controller of this grid. So I set my width to 20 and height 30 like this. Now increase segment because you need to fold the things. So for row I increase the value like 180 and for column I increase the segment to 120. So it will give me some squared segments over here on my paper. Now first of all what I prefer I just right click over here and I write down UV unwrap. I just click over here to display my result from here. So by clicking this unwrapping, if I press shift 5, so you can see that plane unwrap properly. Again I press space 1 to move in my perspective view. Now I right click over here and I apply one UV quick shader. So with that you can get one texture on your plane. So as you see in the presentation you need to fold this contain over here. So for that I apply one band tool. Okay, in band tool, the red area represent the affected area 
whatever you apply on this band tool for example if I increase the angle value in band you can see So here I want to apply the band over here. So for that first of all you need to understand the coordinate system of this Houdini. So here is my x positive, here is my x negative, this is my z negative and this is my z positive. So you want the area which cover negative x and negative z. So for that you have to apply this capture direction to negative 1 in x and negative 1 in z. So you can see I got good direction and it is in 45 degree. Now you need to move the capture origin over here. So I need to set the capture origin to minus 5 and z to minus 10. Okay, so it's very simple. This is my 0, 0, this is my 15. So 15 minus 5 and that is 10. Now if I band these things and I apply to 180 degree okay but the capture length is too much. So I just change the capture length to 0.1. Okay, so I get the first step properly. Now I need to apply the same thing over here. So for that, again I create one more band tool. Activate this thing. Now this is my x positive and z negative. So capture direction is to 1 and in z minus 1. Now again you need to change the capture origin. So that is 5 and minus 10. Again the capture length you set it to 0.1 that is better and bend it to 180 degree. Now you need to fold it from here. So for that again apply one more band tool and now you need this area to be affected. So for that in capture direction I set it to minus 1 and again you need to change the capture length. So here I set it to 0.18 because you already apply 0.1 over here. Okay, and right now this length is too much. So for that, my capture origin to minus maybe 1.5. Okay, it's better. 1.4. Yes. Okay, now again you need to fold these things over here. Again, we say that thing into my presentation. like this and this. So for that again I need one more band tool. So 
again I set it to minus 1 and minus 1. I fold it to 180 degree. But see here it doesn't meet the center line. Even I need to change the capture length. So here I set it to 0.26. So here I change my Z origin in little negative direction. So minus 1.35 is better. Okay, again same thing apply over here. So for that again I create one bad node. Here capture direction is 1 and minus 1. You need to set Z to minus 1.35 capture length 2.26 and again apply 180 degree okay now the tricky thing you need to fold this area only over here but as you see if I apply one more band node over here and just change my origin over here and if I fold these things it fold the whole content I just need to fold this small triangle area only so for that you need to apply band over here after this in this particular area so here I just right click over here I just apply one band node okay I just apply the direction to minus 1 I just move my Z right now over here and I apply this band to minus 180 degree and definitely you need to change the capture length and that capture length should be 0.32 now we need to change this value but view this result so I just click over here and you see this is too much so for that I just click on this band tool I just move like this and over here So it is better. Same way, you need to fold this area. So before applying this fold, I need to fold this area like this. So for that, what I have to do, I just apply one more band tool. And I apply just capture direction to maybe 2 minus 1 over here capture line to point 2 this to point 6 maybe and band angle to 70 degree 
so it's been like this same thing we need to apply over here so just set it to 2 minus 1 capture to point 6 minus point, point 0.6 here minus 2 this is point 2 capture length and again apply the same value 70 degree over here okay now you need to fold this from center so for that you need to apply one more band tool capture direction in x capture length to point 2 and here you need to apply band angle to minus 80 degree same way you need to apply one more band tool the direction again here 0 here minus 1 capture length to point 2 and again here also minus 80 degree now need to flip this or rotate this geometry according to your plane so for that I apply one transform tool just rotate that to 180 degree and apply one subdivide tool to smooth the output of this plane So that's how you get your paper plane ready. So now you can animate this stuff very easily because you are working in procedural node flow of Houdini. So whenever you want to do some animation like over here, if you want to animate these things, so I just click over here. In the zero I press alt on this property same way click over here set it to zero I just click zero over here one eighty degree again alt click one eighty degree again alt click so now you get this property to animate and that's how you did some animation over here so hope you like this tutorial see you soon with another